Okay, today I am making masks, and what I've got here, um, this is an adult mask, and I've got three pieces, a fabric to just cotton blend, and one flannel, and the they are six inches by nine inches, and I've got two pieces of elastic that are eight inches long, and I will be making an adult mask, and I also am making a child size mask and a baby toddler toddler not baby toddler size mask so first what you want to do is lay out your flannel piece like this and then take your one other piece of fabric and line it up like that right side up with the right side up and then take your other piece of cotton and lay it wrong side, back side up. So this is the back side. So that way the two right sides are on the inside. And then what you're gonna do is just fold the top piece back a little bit. And we're gonna take our elastic and we're gonna pin it there. that so I'm gonna pin it there and I'm gonna take it down here and I'm gonna pin it like this down here just like that okay here I have um, pinned my elastic if you can see in there it's there so you just want to make sure you don't like have twists in it as you pin one side to the other I pinned it just a little bit more than a quarter inch away from the corner because I kind of want to like be right in the corner once it's done being sewed. Now I'm going to sew around the edge just from here to here all the way around. I'm going to leave a little open gap on this side so I can turn the whole thing right side in when we're done. Here we go. Okay, so hopefully this turns out well for you. I don't know. I have never filmed me sewing something before, so here we go. Um, so don't forget to leave a little gap at the beginning so you can turn your mask right side in. And so I'm going to start down here a little bit. And also just to warn you, when I go over the thicker parts where the elastic is, uh, my sh machine sounds a little weird because I need to clean out the inside and I haven't done that yet. So my machine's not breaking, it's just got a little bit of lint in there. So here we go. I'm going to backstitch at the beginning and I'm going to backstitch over each elastic part also. So that way it'll help hold the elastic better and it won't fall out. And yes, I sewed right over the pin because I have it going this way. This way, uh, most of the time you'll catch the needle if you do that this way. Sometimes you do, but um, I took, I'm taking a risk by sewing over that, but that's the only way I can see to do it without if I took it out before I sewed over the elastic, then the elastic would shoot out and then I wouldn't catch it in my sewing. But now I'm gonna take on my pin, now that I've sewn over it once, and then I'm gonna back and forward stitch a few times over it. I'm gonna turn and do the corners. this I'm actually going I'm sewing right next to the pin so I'm not gonna hit the pin at all turn the corner, turn it around. when I turn for stitching I like to put my needle down and then that will hold my material in place and I'll just turn it and it won't slide off anywhere and now I'm st gonna stitch over the elastic part That was my string getting caught. That's not normal. It's probably because I stopped mid-stitch. Sorry. And then back stitch. Okay, I've gone over my pin, taking that out, back stitching that. Okay. 
as well. There we go. And in case you know you didn't know where it is, you probably did. Um, but if I stop sewing at the point where I actually want to turn um, my fabric into a corner, then on the side there's a little um, knob that turns your needle up and down. I just turn it down into the place. So you sew by manually. So manually I put the needle down into my fabric where I want it to pivot to do the corner. Taking out the pin. Press back and forth stitching, and then I'm going to finish it up. So I'm leaving about a a three inch gap, maybe I don't know, maybe even two two inch gap, but a three would be good. I just I know, I'm leaving as small as I can, so that way it sews together nicely when we're to the end. I'm going to back stitch to tie off the end. And there we go, and we release it. It's all stitched up, and I'll show you flipping it inside out next. Okay, before you flip this to the right side in, cut the corners off here. This will help the corners to lay down flat and straight, so they're a little bit less bulky. Cut the little edges off. Make sure you don't cut your stitching, otherwise you will have to restitch the corners, <laughs> so you don't get hold of it. And that's what you do, and then you take it and you flip it. I like to kind of put my thumb in and draw it all the way to the corner, and then hold the corner and push one corner through because I have such a small opening, and then I'll pull the rest of it through, just like that. Elastics and pull it out. Pull out the corners. And you can take a fancy sewing tool or a pencil or your finger and or a pen in this case and push out these corners so that we got a nice sharp edge. Just like that. Like that. Oh, got a little string. And then next. I'm going to iron this down. Make sure all the corn the edges are pulled out. Okay, keep the edges this way. Put that on there for about 30 seconds while I pull out this opposite end. Make sure it's all flat. And this is where the opening is right there. So when you iron that down, it'll be iron flat. And the next step, we'll sew over that. And there you have it. It's all ironed out. And the next part is you want to fold it to make some creases so that way it will um, like this, so that way it can unfold out over your nose, but then stay on the sides of your face so it's not like poking straight out from your head. So we're going to just estimate here and just fold down, make it look even and nice. You can pin that outside. And pin this side. And then one more, more fold, make sure the folds are going the same way. Just like that. Pin that side. And pin the other side. And then the next step is we are going to take this back over to the sewing machine and then we're just going to sew along this edge and along this edge and that's it. Okay, next I'm just going to sew straight across here on both sides and keep in mind my sewing machine is loud because I need to clean it out and because I'm going over a super thick part and my sewing machine is very basic.
do back stitches on the front and the back of it. And that's it. And I'll do the other side. And I just sewed right over the pins. If you don't have to do that, you could take them out. Like I can take them out right here. I'm starting. So here we go, all done sewing, we brought it over here, and now don't forget to clip off any extra strings you've got hanging off from the sewing machine. Okay, one more, and there it is. And this is an adult size mask. Okay, so I've got the adult size and a kid size and then toddler infant size, not really infant, more toddler. Um, the adult size, the piece of material I cut was six inches by nine inches and the elastic was eight inches long. The kid size was five and a half inches by eight inches size material and seven, seven inch elastic. And then the toddler size is five inches by seven inches with six and a half inch long elastic. And that's what they all look like. Pretty cute. Make it keep on them. I've got mamas over here. Now you know how to make masks in all different sizes. If you enjoyed this tutorial video, like and subscribe below for more. And you never know what you're going to get on this channel. Thanks for joining me.